Hello, everybody. This is Robert Jefferson here with another free design, basic ported dual 15 inch subwoofer box, T port, 2.9 cubes, uh, 29 hertz tuning, and it's great for lower level and maybe mid level subwoofers. Here is the title page 29 hertz tuning, mega huge bass, three quarter panels, double baffle. 42 inch width, 22 inch depth, 20 inch height. And then here's the cut sheet, basically. This is all the parts that you should have to make. This is everything. It's all of it. And uh, here's the helper page. This helper page is uh, pretty simple. It just gives you some dimensions to look at while you're putting it together. But this is a pretty simple box, so it's not really much going on here. Anyway. Uh, free CAD files available in the link. That's the CAD files. You can open it up just like I have it right now in free CAD. Download it for free. Linux, Windows, Mac, I think. Whatever you got. I think it works on it. So that's that. And then uh, I got to open up Horn Resp again. All right. And I include the Horn Resp file. I only simulate one half of the box. Uh, not both halves at once. It's not going to make a difference, I promise. Or it will. I don't know. Probably not, though. Probably nothing that anybody would ever notice. All right, so where are we at? Dual15ported.txt. That file's included. This is simulating with uh, the DS18 Gen XX15 dual 4-ohm subwoofer. And there it is. I, I simulated it as a backloaded horn. It works. And there's our response. So that's 30 hertz. Got a bit of a rise. Going to peak an output about 40, maybe 42. And then we're falling back down. She should uh, probably low pass this at about 100 hertz or wherever you want. And high pass it or subsonic filter it at about 30, and I'll show you why. So this is what happens at 30 or 29 hertz, which is the tuning. You basically have no excursion or the least excursion. And then if you go down to 25 hertz, you have about the same amount of excursion as you, you're going to have at about 40. But then if you go down to 20 hertz, you have all the excursion. You have a ton of excursion, and your uh, your speaker's going to bottom out. It's going to suck. So you don't want to do that. So let's look at the phase. Here's the phase. Phase is nice. Look at that phase. It's pretty good. I like that. And let's go look at the group delay. So group delay, it's not much. Not much. That's acceptable. Cool. All right, so that's what it is. That's the box. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I'll show you what happens when you put in the SCAR DDX 15 specs into here. Uh, the SCAR DDX is more of like a quarter wave driver, low QTS, high motor force, uh, floppy suspension. And here's what you get. Now instead of even a little over damped as it is with cheaper speakers that have weak motors and whatnot, now it's under damped. Now you get a big spike at the tuning frequency. See that? I'm not saying it won't work or that you wouldn't like it or anything, but that's what you get. Anyway, um, that's what it is. Archive.org link with the free CAD files, cut sheets, PDF, the horn rest file, available in the description. Go to the description, and if you want to throw some money at me, I encourage you to do so, but you don't have to. I'll have my cash app, my cash tag down there. You can send some money there. And I'll have my PayPal. You can send some money there. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much if you do that. Uh, and everybody, have a great day.